To lose track of something basically means that you become absent-minded and you forget something, okay? So we can lose track of a lot of different things. The most common thing is we lose track of time, right? So we're trying to keep track of time. Maybe I have to go home at five o'clock, okay? But then I start hanging out with my friends or we're playing, we're having so much fun. And then I lose track of time. All of a sudden it's eight o'clock at night. I lost track of time. Another example that we might use is losing track of a number of something, right? I'm counting something, I'm counting money, I'm counting money, but someone screamed in the background, so I looked over. Oh, I lost track. I lost track of the money that I was counting. A similar expression would just be to forget something, right? You're trying to keep track of something, but then you forget and then you lose track of it. I think, you know, this is very similar to this expression, which is a uh, loose train of thought, right? I lose train of thought. Can you explain what this means? A train of thought, okay? Right now, you guys are studying English. If you're in a train of thought, you have your circle and it's moving and it's moving and it's moving. This is your train of thought. But if you lose your train of thought, then you lose it. You get distracted by something. Oh, you lost your train of thought, okay? I was thinking about something for a while, but then something distracted me. You can also lose your train of thought. I'm a teacher, so when I'm teaching little kids and I'm like explaining this whole thing to them, and then someone knocks on my door and they like ask me a question. I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. And they go out and I'm like, uh, what was I talking about? And then all my kids start laughing at me. I just lost my train of thought. Any final word? Sometimes studying English can be really hard and it takes a really long time, but if you study English with us, you're going to lose track of time because it's so easy and you're going to learn so much. Okay, so come study with us. Look, look, English. 자, 여러분들, 오늘 표현입니다. 오늘 표현은 lose track of time. 과거 시제로 가볼게요. Lose track of time. Lose track of time. 자, 일단 한번 볼게요. Lost라는 것은 일탈하는 거죠, 그렇죠? 그 다음에 track이라는 것은 그럼 시간이 쭉 있는데 시간을 어떤 중간에 어떤 것이 이렇게 미스하는 느낌이거든요. 그래서 I lost track of time이라고 하면요. 약간 좀 이런 느낌이에요. 그렇죠? 뭐를 이렇게 하고 있었는데 뭐를 집중하다 보니까 시간 가는 줄 모르는 거 있잖아요. 그렇죠? 어 뭐야? 아이씨! 이거 약속 있었는데 이거 뭐 어떻게, 아, 어떻게 해? 어, 어때요? I lost track of time이에요. 그렇죠? 시간뿐만 아니라 예를 들어서 내가 어떤 거를 지금 이제 카운트를 하고 있었어요. 그렇죠? 뭐 돈을 세고 있다고 생각해 볼게요. 근데 누가 갑자기 문을 두드렸어요. 낙낙! 어? 뭐지? 에이씨! 까먹었어! 까먹은 거죠. 어떤 걸 하고 있을 때 중간에 뭐가 끼어들어서 그게 뭐 마인드의 생각이 될 수도 있겠고요. 이 마인드가 될 수도 있겠고 그 다음 누가 방해하는 거 디스트랙션이 될 수도 있겠고요. 그래서 뭔가를 까먹었을 때 우리는요. We lost track of time. We lost track of time. I lost track of that. 하나만 더 기억할게요. Train of thought라는 표현이 있어요. Train of thought. 그래서 기차가 이렇게 나열이 되는 것처럼 이와 같은 생각도 이제 트레인처럼 이제 쭉 가는 건데 그것을 우리가 로스트 했다라는 것은 어떤 걸 하다가 중간에 어? 이런 거 있어요. 저도 지금 촬영하고 있잖아요. 촬영하다가 말을 하려고 하다가 어? 어 무슨 말 하려고 했지? 그러면 그때 I lost my train of thought. I lost my train of thought 라는 표현을 사용할 수 있겠죠. Lost my train of thought here. Lost my train of thought here. Lost my train of thought here. Sorry, sorry we late. We uh, kind of just, you know, lost track of time. Sorry, sorry we late. We uh, kind of just, you know, lost track of time. Sorry, sorry we late. We uh, kind of just, you know, lost track of time. I was waiting in the lobby at five. We lost track of time. I was waiting in the lobby at five. We lost track of time. I was waiting in the lobby at five. We lost track of time. I was waiting in the lobby at five. We lost track of time. How many guitars do you own? I lost track of that in probably 2007. How many guitars do you own? I lost track of that in probably 2007. How many guitars do you own? I lost track of that in probably 2007. How many guitars do you own? I lost track of that in probably 2007. How many guitars do you own? I lost track of that in probably 2007. 자 여러분들, 자 저희가 제공하는 영상과 책을 공부하다 보면요 아마 시간 가는지 모를 수 있어요, 그렇죠? You're gonna lose track of time once you study with our books because our books are so exciting, so interesting, so amazing. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and then watch our video as many times as possible. And see you guys next time. Bye bye.